Hey guys, working in the garage today. Just a quick update on the kick pad. So I've had the kick pad for probably five, six weeks now. And I put, I'm guessing around 20, 25 miles on it and it's performed flawless. I have uh, no negative uh, comments, no criticisms about it. It really is engineered and constructed beautifully. Um, I'm a full grown adult. I live in New York. I mean, this thing has seen every piece of terrain you could possibly imagine. Um, it doesn't vibrate, it doesn't rattle, um, it really is just the way I bought it. My only criticism, I guess in the beginning, constructive criticism, or, or what I've noticed, is that the front wheel, when you would spin the front wheel, it would go on and on and on by itself. And the back wheel, you'd spin it, and there was an element of resistance to it, where uh, it would go ahead and, and spin and then just come to a stop, as if there was too much tension on it. So I figured, alright, as time goes on, it breaks in. Uh, I'll put, you know, five, six miles on it and uh, it'll open up. So that wasn't happening. So today I came down to the garage. Sorry for the lighting. We just got done with a bad storm and whenever uh, there's humidity, I guess the ballast acts up. I took a 9 16th wrench to this nut back here and I just cracked it back a little bit just to give um, the bearing a little breathing room. Not enough where there's any play in the wheel but just enough where this thing has a little breathing room to it. And lo and behold, once I did that, now I've got a wheel that free spins. Where before I didn't, I would sit there and spin the wheel and it would kind of just come around and just come to a stop. The front one never did that. The front one, you'd spin it and it would just go on and on forever, which is the way it's supposed to. Before I wasn't doing that. I figured, all right, maybe that was just unique to my kick pad, but then I went online and I found other people who have made the same comment. So I'm wondering just out of the factory, this thing comes just a wee bit over torqued. Um, when I say I kicked it back, the nut a little bit, I mean the, the tiniest bit. Not enough where I did a couple of rotations. I mean literally just a kind of thing. And by doing that, it just opened right up. There's no play in the wheel, there's no vibration. I took it out for a ride, the difference is insane. There's no resistance anymore. Before I really had to put a lot more effort into the ride, where now it just kind of glides down the road. So now I feel like I'm actually getting the full, full experience here. So if you're a kick pad, you get it, check it out. Check out that back wheel, see if there's an element of resistance, you can't miss it. Once you spin the front wheel and then spin the back, when the back one just comes to a stop, you may want to grab an open end wrench and just kind of tweak it just a little bit. The sealed bearings, there's nothing that needs to be lubricated as far as I see. It's not that issue. I think they're over torqued. Let me know what you think and uh, Enjoy the video. If you have any comments, let me know below and I'll gladly answer your questions. Have a good day.